Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm William Herrera from PropPhotography.ca. I'm a photographer and videographer based in North York, Ontario. So in today's video, it's a part of the series that I do, Exposure Triangle. And the topic today is going to be the ISO. What does ISO mean? Okay, so the number one meaning for the ISO is the International Standardization Organization. And the number two is the, this is a bit difficult to pronounce, it's Interoscillating Systematized Opopotamus. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, I don't know which one is true. The ISO is artificial light sensitivity of your sensor. So when to change your ISO, you can change your ISO number one in a situation where you are in low light. Uh, for example, if you're in a dim room and you want to brighten up your images, you have to crank up your ISO. The number two is when you want a faster or if you want to target a specific shutter speed, to be able to freeze up motion. So example, if your shutter speed is around one of 500 of a second, you are in outdoor or indoor, you will have underexposed images. So to be able to get that right exposure, you will have to crank up your eyes or value to properly expose the subject. But this comes in a drawback. The higher your eyes or the more noise you will have on your photos. So I have some examples of photos that I took here. Uh, using a higher ISO value. So this one, I used one of 2000 of a second shutter speed, which is considered faster shutter speed. And to be able to compensate with this faster shutter speed is uh, I have to crank up my ISO to 25,600, which is it's going to make my photo properly exposed. But the drawback here is if I zoom into my photo here, with that 25,600 value of ISO, it's gonna make my photo uh, noisy. So I'll, I'll have a lot of noise on my photo here, which is not usable. Though you have an option to reduce the noise using the Lightroom, but if I do that, everything is gonna be plasticky. There's no texture on the image. Depending if your camera is latest or old model. So modern cameras nowadays can be cranked up to 100 up to 12,800 and still get decent photos. So example, Canon EOS R, that's what I have here, is I can crank this up up to 32,000 or 3,200 and I still get usable photo. But the minimum ISO value I use is around 100 to 800 value. So as much as possible, if you're shooting photos, use the lowest ISO value to get the cleanest photos. And then I have another image here that I took. Uh, this one, my ISO value is at the lowest value, which is 100 on my EOS R. And my shutter speed is one of three of the second. Now, uh, I made this one of three of a second because I want to compensate with the lower ISO because the lower ISO that I have the underexposed my photos are so I have to open up my shutter speed slow it down to gather more light into my sensor now the good thing here is I have no noise on my photos because I have the lower value of my ISO but now because of my shutter speed is slow a tiny uh, movement on your camera is gonna make your photo not sharp so if I zoom in here you'll see that the photo is not really sharp at all because there's a, there's just a small movement on my camera that made this because I am at slower shutter speed remember that ISO is to increase your light sensitivity electronically 